What's up you friggin' geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you what perfect squares are. So there's two ways you can look at it, okay? The first way is a perfect square is the answer you get when you square a whole number. So for example, let's take the number one, right? That's a whole number and let's square it, okay? What's our answer? Well, one squared is just equal to one, right? So that means one is a perfect square. Okay, let's take two and square that. What do you get? Well, you get four, right? So that means four is a perfect square. Let's take three and square it. Three squared is equal to nine. So nine is a perfect square. So let's take another whole number and square it. Let's take four and square that. That is equal to 16. Okay, five squared is equal to 25, six squared is equal to 36, right? Etc. We could keep doing this all day long. The point is, all of these numbers right here are called perfect squares because it's the answer you get when you square a whole number like these, right? We squared all these. So the answers that we got are called perfect squares. Okay, so now that you know what a perfect square is, let me show you what isn't a perfect square. And remember, I told you on this side, when you square a whole number, the answer that you get is a perfect square, right? So what if I took 6.5 and I squared that? What would my answer be? Well, 6.5 squared is the same thing as 6.5 times 6.5, which if you plug that into a calculator, your answer would be 42.25. So is 6.5 a whole number? No, right? So that means our answer right here is not a perfect square. Okay, what if I took 4.472 and I squared that? What would my answer be? So again, this would be the same thing as 4.472 times 4.472, right? And if you plug that into a calculator, you're gonna get an answer of about 20, okay? So is 4.472 a whole number? No, so that means our answer right here, 20, is not a perfect square, okay? Even though this is a whole number, that's not how you solve these, okay? The number you have to look at is this one, the one that you're squaring, okay? If this one's a whole number, then this one is a perfect square. Okay, so make sure that this is the number you're paying attention to, okay? That's the one that dictates whether your answer is a perfect square or not. Okay, so that's one way you can look at perfect squares. Now, the other way you can look at this is if you take the square root of a number and your answer is a whole number, then the number you took the square root of is a perfect square. Okay, so for example, if I took the square root of nine, what would my answer be? Well, the square root of nine is equal to three, right? So since my answer is a whole number right here, that means this number inside of the radical is a perfect square. Okay, let's do another one. What if we took the square root of 16? What would our answer be? Well, that would be four. Okay, so since we got a whole number for our answer, that means the number inside here is a perfect square. Okay, or if we took the square root of 25, what would your answer be? It would be five, right? So since our answer is a whole number, that means this number right here is a perfect square. So if I took the square root of 20, what would my answer be? Well, if you plug it into a calculator, you would get approximately 4.4 seven, two. So I took the square root of 20, right? Was my answer a whole number? No, it was not. So this means 20 is not a perfect square. Okay, or one other example, let's say we took the square root of 12.25, okay? If you plugged this into a calculator, your answer would be 3.5, okay? So is 3.5 a whole number? No, it is not. So that means this number right here inside of the radical is not a perfect square either. 
All right, guys, so that is what perfect squares are. And those are two different ways that you can identify them, all right? So I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have any questions or just need clarification on something, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics related to square roots and radicals or anything else, definitely go check those out and I'll see you there.